Hi, welcome, and thank you for coming to our project showcase. I am Jalen Edwards. Our project has two aspects. The first is a prototype system for generating a more syntactic analysis of text in the Chishona language of Southern Africa. The second is for presenting multilingual information in the form of interlinear academic glosses. In the next few minutes, I will provide a high level description of how that prototype works. It was created according to the principles of minimal computing. We created the Morse Syntactic Analyzer, an interlinear gloss generator, so that we would have a tool that could be used in teaching Southern African history. But most important function is to serve as an occasion for staging conversations about colonial practices and post colonial digital humanities. My colleagues, Professor Sharon Bira and Professor Turco, will lead a group discussion on this aspect of our project after my presentation. I will start with the idea of an interlinear morphing of gloss shown in this slide. This slide shows an example in the language of Jamaican Patois, as that is something I speak. The Jamaican text is, Ya over dem yad a laba laba. The translation is, You are at my house gossiping. In between the source and target language is a morphine by morphine gloss. It shows, for example, that the Jamaican word dem corresponds to the English there. Interlinear gloss is a widely used in English language, so they allow a person who doesn't speak the language to appreciate its structure and organization. Digital historians who work languages such as English can draw on an example a wealth of, exam uh, wealth of pre existing computational tools for linguistic analysis. However, very few such tools exist for many other languages. This slide shows paid images of two traditional resources for learners of the Chichuana language, grammar, and a dictionary. We're using both of these to create a prototype morpho syntactic system. Working from information in the learner's grammar, we have created a prototype system to produce an interlinear morphine gloss. The organization of the system is shown in the diagram in this slide. We have a corpus of attested Shishona texts and their translations. We also have a lexicon of morphemes. When we start working on a new grammatical lesson, we add all the example sentences to our corpus, and we add hypothesized morphemes to our lexicon. We then run the analyzer against some or all the attested texts to generate the morphemes parse and produce an interlinear loss. We are also working on a prototype system to automatically extract machine readable information from a printed dictionary. So it can be hand-checked and then added to our lexicon in corpus. This is the mix using machine vision and image processing to identify and parse dictionary entries. The logical structure of the dictionary and page formatting aid in this task. Our project is based on the premise that we have the potential to change the practice of teaching and learning history by making use of computational tools. At the same time, we have no desire to reproduce inequalities or injustices of the colonial past. We like to use this work and work like it to stimulate discussions about post-colonial digital humanities. Here are a few of the many topics that this project likes to raise. Multilingualism, diglossia, and code switching are ubiquitous in Southern Africa. How do we do justice to the richness of languages? How do we, we begin to redress Europeanism, the replacement of native names, languages, and identities with European ones, and the subsequent dismemberment of African memory? More generally, what concepts or practices can help us to counter abyssal thinking, the ongoing colonial legacy of dividing knowledge along an imagined line that valorizes some forms of knowledge, life ways, and language practices, or ethicing others? Besides minimal computing, what else can digital humanities bring to the table? We look forward to discussing them with you. Thank you.